hello everyone welcome to my channel and in this tutorial we are going to create a audio spectrum or audio visualizer so let's have a look what we will create today This is the audio visualizer or audio spectrum. So before starting this tutorial, I want to say you that if you still not subscribe my channel or if you are new to my channel, then please hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get all of my new videos notification. And to create this tutorial, uh, we need to add up After Effects because I am using Adobe After Effects to create this. So let's get started with Adobe After Effects. First, open Adobe After Effects and here in the project uh, we need to import some files mm. just need a audio or if you want to add any background then you can add your photo or any background so here I am going to using uh, this music and this background drag this in your project window so now I need to create a composition uh, to create a composition go to composition and new composition here i am using 1080 pixel full hd and duration i will set to 5 minute because it's audio so i need uh, it's depend on your audio duration so my audio is 5 minutes so i take 5 minutes you can take it at your own audio format so here you can select a background color i am using black then click ok so this is our composition now i will create a solid here right click on your mouse and go to new then solid here i will rename it to audio this color also black and then click ok so now we need to input our audio to the timeline just select the audio here and drag it to our timeline now select this audio layer and go to effect and presets in effect and presets search for audio spectrum here is the audio spectrum just click and drag it to our audio layer so now in audio spectrum you will find an effect control here then go to audio spectrum and here the audio layer change this uh, to our audio that audio we import in here if you don't import your audio to timeline then you will not uh, get this option so make sure that you have import your audio to this timeline here so now go to effects control and select the audio layer and here audio layer select our music here then you can find this kind of visualization here so and this is a line so i want to create a circle here to create a circle first select your audio layer you must select this audio layer then go to uh, shapes and press and hold mouse key and then select this ellipse tool here now draw a circle press and hold shift and all that key on your keyboard then draw a circle like this move it to the center or you can align it so it is in a center so now we need it to the a circle to get the circle uh, just uh, go to the path here and here select mask one now you can see that it's a circle so you can see that it's are moving now we in need to create uh, some more beautiful effect so let's play with this audio spectrum setting in here you can see that 
and the spectrum in inside and outside of the shape so i want just the outside so in here side option if you select side a it will inside of the circle and if you select a and b it will in the both sides so i'll select b then it will make the spectrum only of the outside of our shape so let's change the color to white you can change any color you want and in the start factory you can change it what you want so let's keep it 20 and frequent frequency band i will select something like this and the uh, maximum height i will increase it you can see that when i increase the maximum height it will cut our spectrum here so it is because of our mask so go to audio spectrum and open mask and here the add is selected change it as to none now you can see it is outside of our mask So it's looking nice to me so let's correct something Now duplicate the audio layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate or go to edit and uh, duplicate this. And here I am going to change the display option digital to analog line and change its size to something like this. Or you can change it to dots. So I will find something like this in inside of this and i will change its color to red orange So now I will create another shape here. So make sure that uh, for this time you have not selected any of this layer. Uh, then go to ellipse tool and draw a circle like me. I will insert out my logo here. Fill it with white. Select move tool and drag it to the center. Change stroke size to 8 and stroke color to something like this. Now let's duplicate this layer and rename it to time and turn off the fill and, and just make the stroke white and increase its size something like this so here now select this time and uh, add uh, click on this add and uh, add dream path now go to ellipse and now go to this dream path option and in here at the first uh, frame make it to zero and create a keyframe here now go to at the last stop our music and change it to 
so it will make our you can see that a, it is changing from here to here when it's go to the finished of the music it will cover all of this circuit so it is going to this side you can make it from here to here uh, from the right it is going to the left so to create it from the right side uh, just turn off the keyframes of the end uh, make a keyframe at the start point here and this make 100% Go to first frame of this composition and make it 100% at start and create a keyframe here. Go to last frame of the music and make it to zero. Now you can see that it's going from here to here. It's Now again go to effect and presets and search for gradient. Here you will find four color gradient. Here is the four color gradient and I can apply it to our audio composition. And it will find you nice looking color by the way you can change its color from here but I am going to keep its default color now if you want to a background to here just go to your project and the background we have imported just drag it below of all of this layer then you find something like this now let's apply a blur effect here and go to effect and preset and search for first blur. Here is the first blur. Just drag to here and change the blurness something like 40. And keep it to 80. Now again duplicate this audio, sorry I rename this to audio line. Now duplicate this audio again and select the below audio layer and search for CC radial flash blur. Select the CC radial flash blur and apply in this below layer and rename it to first blur so here you can see this first blur effect you can change it something like this go to amount and make it to 80 percent now if you turn off this here you can find this nice looking effect uh, but if you want then you can keep this four color gradient here so this is our logo shape Now in this logo shape you can add your logo here but uh, I am going to left it empty just type logo visualization i hope you like this video if you like this video then please make sure that you have subscribed my channel and share this video with your friends i will be back with new another after this tutorial as soon as possible